Hello everybody, welcome to Big Balloon Nation, inflationanimationengineer.com, where we teach you to twist balloons, love STEM, and engineer winners for success. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Happy Holidays! I think Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year. In fact, you probably know my name's Steve Christmas, my mom's name's Merry Christmas, and my dog's name is Mistletoe and we love Christmas. We think it's the most wonderful time of the year. And today, I'm gonna to teach you how to make Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So, first of all, we have to have three balloons. We have gotta have a brown balloon, a white balloon, and a red nose. So, here we go. We're gonna take a balloon, just like always. Take it, and we're gonna fill it up pretty full, just like we would if we were making a balloon dog. In fact, really going to make a balloon dog and then we're going to turn the balloon dog into a reindeer so tie it off at the end and what do we do first of all we've got our our reindeer doesn't look like a reindeer yet but what if we were to take a another balloon now that neat thing about engineers is we like to integrate so we take a 260 balloon we can actually tie a round five inch balloon just by taking a round five inch balloon, we've now integrated two different types of balloons, which is pretty cool. We take our regular balloon, 260, make a little bitty bubble come up. We're gonna make the first side of the head, right side of the head. We put a little bubble at the top, and the reason is because we're gonna have to have something up there to tie into. And then we'll come down, we've got this two sides. Is it even? A equals B, and B equals A, so then it must be even. Now we lock it in. No matter what we do, we now have our, our Rudolph head that we can just tie around. And it's already got its nose on there. Now we just do it just like we would if we were gonna make a regular balloon dog. And we take the right leg and the left leg. We come out and then we make a body, just a normal size body. Come in, tie off the two parts, right leg, left leg, A equals B, B equals A. Now we have a, like a, like a doe doe a deer a female deer because it doesn't have antlers but we want our Rudolph to have antlers so how do we do that we'll lay it to the side for a moment take a regular white balloon Rudolph the red nose reindeer he had a very shiny nose and if you ever saw him you would even say it glows all right so we've got a regular white balloon that's blown up here we take it and then we twist off Part of the antler. Now what we're going to do is we're going to twist off at the both ends. So you can notice I left a little bit of tail here because we're going to move the air. So we come in and I'm just going to make them kind of even. So we're going to do about a hand and two or three fingers. Okay. Then, then I'm going to come to the other end. I'm going to twist it. Now at that point, see, I've already pushed all the air out to where it's almost at the very end. I'm going to come in. I'm going to put it uh, point number one. So this is a four point buck. Rudolph is a four-point buck. Now we got him. It doesn't have to be completely even because we know that Rudolph and deer antlers are not always even on their points anyway. So it's okay if it's not completely even. But we want to come be somewhere close to the center so we can eyeball it. And it ought to be about right there. Okay? So we test it right there in the very middle. Come in. Now we've got the little ball at the top of the reindeer head. And I'll just tie that right into the other side. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer, he had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw him, you would even say it glows. And now we've got your very own Rudolph the red nosed reindeer. Now, I have a question for you. Do you know how reindeer actually fly? Scientist to scientist, engineer to engineer, I have no idea. I don't know how a reindeer fly, but you know what I do know? I know how balloons fly, and I know how balloons float. The answer is helium. But you can't put 
heal him in a reindeer. What's heal him anyway? Helium is like air. It's like oxygen. Helium is a gas. It's, it has no color. You can't smell it. Helium is in short supply on the earth. Helium, it's like super abundant in outer space, but it's a limited supply here on earth. And we could run out of helium, and it's got excess and lots of different uses. Did you know that the United States of America is the largest supplier of helium? That's right, and there's many, many uses for helium, not just for balloons. Helium floats blimps, like for weather balloons and for research. Helium is used in the medical industry, like hospitals. Your doctor's office probably uses helium for something. In fact, it's even used for welding. I have no idea how reindeer fly, but balloons fly and float because of helium. Hey, I hope that you enjoyed this. If you like balloons, go to your library, go online, go to inflationanimationengineer.com and learn so much more about balloons, balloon animals, and how you can become an inflation animation engineer. Until next time, if you're not having fun, you're just not doing it right. See you soon.